Ah, uh, yes. Just what we need. Another small YouTuber with less than three years of experience within the hobby about to make a price prediction on an item they don't know enough about. But I'm still going to make the video. Let's talk about Asura's Wrath. Probably one of the most unique video games, probably one of the most unique pieces of media I've ever personally consumed. And if you read any of the reviews on it online, you'll pretty much always see the same stuff, always calling it creative and a very interesting experience that they can't really find in any other game. You'll see commonly googled questions like, why is Asura's Wrath so good? It has a 4.9 out of 5 total score from personal ratings on Google. But you will see over on the right, the critics don't necessarily agree. See a 5.5 from GameSpot, 71% on Metacritic, and a 7.5 from IGN. And given IGN's track record of essentially only rating games between 7 and 10 out of 10, a 7.5 is pretty much a 2.5 for them. Why do the reviews seem to be so mixed? I think it comes from understanding what you're getting into when looking at Asura's Wrath. It is unlike any other experience. It's almost less of a video game and more of playing through a storyline or playing through an anime. It's the closest thing we've ever had to an anime styled video game. And I think we're all very aware of how much weebs are willing to pay to get their waifus realized. So, in short, Asura's Wrath is not an incredible game to all people, but it's a fantastic masterpiece to a dedicated, more anime-centric viewer base. Let's talk about price history. It was at around $13 or so for a completed box copy for quite a while. We saw it slowly raise during slightly before COVID era and then heading into COVID era that really made it spike up to around $41 or so dollars at its peak. Go back down, but then consistently go back up or so to around $40 or so, come back down, and now it's slowly rising again upwards to that $40 mark. I don't think Asura's Wrath will be below $35 to $30 ever again most likely. Asura's Wrath is an incredibly unique experience. If you want to play Asura's Wrath, you have to play Asura's Wrath. There's no other way. Now, one of the most important things to understand when talking about the price or rarity of an item, of any item, is the accessibility to that item. Asura's Wrath was known to sell horribly, selling only 36,000 copies in the first week and rumored to have only sold around 180,000 copies in total across all platforms. So we've solidified that Asura's Wrath is a once-in-a-lifetime only niche experience that not, not everyone's going to want, but the people that want them are willing to pay out and are willing to go for it. We've also established that it's a very low-selling game compared to the big ones, and it's going to be hard to find for a lot of people. I do think that Asura's Wrath, over the next coming years, I think by 2027, so around four years from the creation of this video, will probably reach around $100. I know that's a large claim and that's just my personal opinion, please don't make any financial decisions based off this, I'm not nearly qualified enough for that. I'm mostly just throwing my thoughts and opinions into the Aether because I thought it would be fun, so please take this as entertainment first and financial stuff never. I think most gamers are aware that Xbox 360 and PS3 stuff will probably start rising in the next 2-4 to four years anyway once that wave of nostalgia hits that era of video game players. That's sort of how things tend to work. Once a system is around three or four generations behind, it's been around 20 years or so, that generation says, hey, let's pick up this old thing, enjoy the nostalgia, and it's usually tons of fun, and that sort of cycles. It happened with pretty much every video game system we've seen. Happened with the Atari, happened with the Super NES, happened with the GameCube and PS2 currently. That kind of just tends to happen overall. 20 years later, people want to relive the nostalgia and feel that fun once again. For how niche this game supposedly is, locking in one sale per day is also pretty intense. I'm not sure if that shows more supply than thought or more demand than thought. There's no direct correlation there. $40 also might not seem like a lot to a lot of you older retro game collectors or GameCube collectors or NES collectors, etc. But the average Xbox 360 game right now is around $10 or so, the median being around $740. So many of these games are extremely cheap, and most of the higher stuff is all huge collector's editions that were bought for hundreds of dollars at the time, or different console uh, limited editions. 
The most expensive Xbox 360 game right now is around $372, and comparing to the most expensive of other platforms is incredibly cheap, and if you scroll down a little bit, you quickly reach $120 and under $100 range in around two scrolls. Xbox 360 is just really cheap right now overall. $40 is up there as a premium Xbox 360 title. But once again, I want to preface a million times, I've only been actively collecting retro games for around two years or less now, so please, please, please take everything with a grain of salt. I have been overwatching the hobby for probably around a decade now. I, I wanted to start collecting games back when I was very young, around 14 or so. I'm now 24. It's been around 10 years or so, um, but I couldn't really afford it growing up, and I think that's what's so great about this hobby. You wanted all these video games as a kid. You couldn't afford them as a kid, so now as an adult, you sort of work towards that, and there's nobody to tell you no. You can work hard, earn your own money, and build your own collection, and I absolutely adore that. So that's going to wrap up one man's simple and humble thoughts on Asura's Wrath. I love that game, so maybe there's some personal bias well, there. Well, there's definitely some personal bias, but make sure to let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments down below politely, please. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Dislike if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel for retro video game content and just video game content in general. Hey, we're all gamers. So we're every type of stuff. Xbox 360 isn't even considered retro a lot of the time, but I kind of consider it that since it's been out, out for around 15 years or so now. Here is also a glimpse of my collection on price charting. Once again, haven't been collecting for too long, but it's been really fun to accumulate that, and I haven't really bought anything uh, this year in 2023 since I've been saving up for more important real life expenses, I guess a wedding or a ring or, you know, that kind of lame stuff. But anyways, that's it for me. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Play some video games. Peace.